I just want to give you a quick breakdown of where we're going and where we've been over the last couple of years at Zero Point Fuel. This is the VMG and I'm sure you've seen other videos of it. Um, it's about to be torn down and rebuilt into a brand new phase of this design. So uh, if you guys are waiting for me to post a virtual 3D of this, I, it, a lot of it's done, but because the design is changing so radically, I, it's hard for me to post something that's going to be out of date within a month. So what I'm going to do to satisfy a lot of my requests for this circuit is I'm going to release a PDF of just this circuit. This motor here has been through several variations. This motor, the way it sits right now, was when it was abandoned. So it reached 3800 RPM handily, only running six chips. So I was able to dump up to 10 amps of power through it and it just flat out screamed. So it is for all intents and purposes uh, going to be retooled from this point. So the little mini which uses instead of iron rods in the form of uh, coat hangers or welding rods this motor uses these ferrite cores like you would wrap for a filter. Right? You can find these electronics places, uh, suppliers. Um, they're easy to find. And this motor here uses that as a core. And you can see right here how the core is set up. The circuits are fairly simple. Everything is always, I always use uh, copper cladding for my main output and then tie it to monster wire. That seems to work the best. So this little motor here is just a charger basically. So I always put circuit breakers on all this stuff. It's best to err on the side of caution. If you have uh, cataclysmic short while you're working or you blow one of these chips um, you have a dead short basically if you burn out this chip inside most of the time it is a dead short so on your amp meter you're always going to read it'll just start climbing like crazy well you've blown a chip and that is a dead short so that's going to get hot and start melting stuff so you got to be careful I also recommend always on your battery output I'm sorry your battery into the motor your drive battery having an amp meter because if you crank this up and you start dumping 10 or 12 amps into the and you're not aware that you're dumping that much amperage you can easily fry this stuff out so without an amp meter of any type you risk frying everything just by putting your foot on it. You know, you're trying to run it hot. You have to be able to monitor the amperage you're drawing from your battery. If you don't do that, you're asking for trouble. So, word to, word to the wise. Uh, so, that controller and these two motors are about to get scavenged for the new next great thing. Um, everybody's trying so hard to build a, a DC system and I just don't understand it. It's always been about making AC power. So it's good to drive this, this AC motor with the DC solution but you have to create real AC power, house current, if this is going to work for everybody. So please, just keep that in mind. We're on the verge of some great things. 
our mandate is to release this stuff open source. So we're not selling out. We're not going anywhere. And look for some new documents soon, including in the next two weeks a document explaining this motor controller circuit, which is basically an SG circuit. So any of you guys already build SG circuits, this is basically an SG circuit that's been multiplied, in this case, 24 times. It's a little messy. As you can see, it's just an SC, SG circuit. Uh, Reostat. And... I use uh, 10 ohm uh, on the tr each trigger circuit gets a fireproof 10 ohm resistor and I use the 07 diodes on the output and across the uh, the chip it uses the 07 diode there too so basically it's the same diode through the whole motor. And uh, using these banana plugs makes it real easy. And you can see how this is the negative. That's why it's green. It's just the negative. So the positive is tied to the negative and fed back into the circuit. So for the collapse. So this is, um, let's see. This is the input through the switch. Under the switch, which feeds down to this positive, and that's the positive side of the coil. They're all tied together. And then turn runs through the circuit and then is grounded. And when that's collapsing, then that's fed back through this output and then the negative is a low potential so it's tied back to the positive and then the output is this is the output of the motor so if that makes any sense I just want to say thanks to everybody for all their support and We'll have some new stuff soon. This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel, signing out.